for decades, he was a constant in Canberra corridors. But now Eric Abetz is setting his sights on local politics. Energy levels and the desire to serve have remained with me uh, ever since uh, I left the Senate and here is an opportunity to serve the people of Tasmania. 18 months after he was ousted from the Senate, the 65-year-old is seeking party approval to run in the southern seat of Franklin, hoping to be elected alongside Nick Street and Dean Young in an expanded 35-seat lower house. One of the uh, suggestions made to me was that I would provide some greater degree of stability uh, to the state parliamentary scene and uh, if that is something that I can contribute that would be great. Political experts say his profile means he's got a good chance of getting elected but the people hold strong views about the conservative Christian who opposed abortion, voluntary assisted dying and same-sex marriage during his 28 years in the Senate. He's always been something of a polarising politician and uh, that is uh, one of the challenges he'll face. This is a person who talks about tas taking Tasmania forward, but most of his ideals seem to come out of the 1950s. We are a genuinely broad church. There are people with more moderate views. There are people with more conservative views. What is important is that everybody that's going to be on that ballot supports Jeremy Rockliffe as Premier going forward. The Liberal Party will announce its team and whether Eric Abetz is in it by the end of the month. Both major parties will have the candidates locked in well in advance of the May 2025 election. With independent MP John Tucker threatening to bring the minority government down, it's possible Tasmanians could be sent to the polls much earlier than that. Adam Langenberg, ABC News.